world's largest button assortment, games, toys, and more. Formula 350 Collectibles. Dumpsterware.com. Go buy some merch. Warning, the following podcast contains adult language, adult situations, and lots and lots and lots of sexual innuendos. Viewer discretion is advised. Yes. Yeah, I wouldn't let any kid listen to this fucking garbage. Jesus Christ. Welcome to uh, uh, Gassy Radio, your home for gaming, anime, superhero news, and entertainment. Waft in and listen. Here are your hosts, Randy and Luigi. Uh, excuse me. And welcome to a new episode of Gassy Radio. I've been having fucking migraines literally all week, and Luigi has a back issue. He's fucking, he was shot in the back by a farmer out in a pot field in Memphis, and let's just say he, he just got grazed. It was like, it, was, it, was, it wasn't a real gun, it was like the fucking uh, beanbag shotgun. Grazed his shotgun. dead center of my fucking... Yeah, it was the beanbag shotgun. Yeah. So, all the force of a real bullet, but no penetration and killing. Oh yeah, it hurt. That's not exactly what actually happened, but... Fuck you. Uh, let's go. Let's go into the gaming section. When you're feeling low and you want to shoot someone in the face, it's the gaming section. Because you can't do it in real life, we're gonna go to jail. And welcome to the gaming section. But before we get into any gaming news, we just want to remind you that tomorrow you can see me. Possibly Luigi and our sponsors, Formula 350 Collectibles, Matt and Andy, at the Madison Comic Con presented by Mighty Con. That's right, we're putting on another fucking Madison show. Make sure you show up, it's going to be awesome. Only $5 at the door, kids 12 and under get in free. But enough about that, let's get into the gaming section. Injustice 2, do not update your system right now. Because the current update will wipe away all gear you have on your players, including all the DLC gear or special event gear that you have got recently. And as of now, there's no way to get it back. So they not have just some trouble on their hands right so now. So not even just deleting the <coughs> no. add-ons and bringing them it back. Fucking, it, wipes, <coughs> it wipes it clean, man. Like, <coughs> Sorry about that. It's dying okay. a little bit here. It's all right. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, so be very careful. I have auto-updates on, but I don't have any gear on my players. Because I haven't played since we beat Story Mode. That's funny. <laughs> so, fuck them. I know, I did try out Starfire, because I have the free DLC shit, but I, I don't care. I'll get more into it when it's closer to the big video game tournament. At I'm, Geek Comics I'm down for November. us to play some online of that and get some, like... Yeah, I'll, that's I'll the be, best way. I'm just thinking... Not just us grind. playing online, we, yeah. we gotta fuck it. Like, we play, that's what we did. We just tag in and watch each other play other people and shit. That was fun as hell. Oh, that was beautiful. We might be able to stream that. We can't. That's another. That's one thing. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Besides not having Wolverine in it, I love the game. Uh, can't stream story mode currently through the PlayStation Easy streaming <coughs> shit, and I'm not spending a bunch of money to get <coughs> a streaming thing fucking set up. At least not yet. Maybe we'll do that next year and actually have a second show every week where we're actually streaming with equipment on Twitch where you can donate to keep us going. That'll be coming sometime next year, but for now we just use the free fucking PlayStation yeah. streaming shit. Um, but yeah, uh, what do you think of Marvel vs. Capcom? Oh, I love the game so far. I think there's a few bugs they need to fix, but uh, other than that, it's like nerfing some of the like like Nemesis for oh, for Jesus starters, Christ. and then ne- ner- they gotta nerf the shit out of the Soul Stone. Yeah, like. It cannot act like the other stones because you can constantly revive your players. So if one of your players dies, it gives you a huge boost in your stone power. Right. And we when we were like so, power stone, I used two or three times in a match because you just build it up. So yeah, I can you can almost re like fully heal. You know what I'm saying? Like, doesn't it like tack on life every time you use it? It no, it doesn't. Or every time that you use it, you can reheal your uh, player, but if you use the Infinity Storm, you revive the other player with like a quarter of their life back. Right, so that's a lot. That's a big Exactly. A big it difference. doesn't do anything for you, but or for your current player, right. but you can just use the uh, Soul Stone regularly and get your and life back. And a lot back. of people are like bitching that, oh, there's not three players or anything. Now, who cares? I, I, yeah, I missed the three players, but at the same time, I don't care. That that also gave you an edge, but I mean, like if we're doing tournaments, like and stuff, three people, you could you, you could have that one shit brick house character get in a bunch of hits, and you don't you didn't care. I didn't care if he was fucking taken out, like the Sentinel Marvel vs. Capcom uh, three. I didn't care if he got taken out because I just dealt damage, and once he got taken out, I would use a quick character and then my my power character, not brick house shit fucking 
person who needed to be nerf character, like like Wolverine, would be fucking the next in line. Right, and Nemesis needs to be nerfed. He's too quick. Oh my god, he's for a being fucking... a big guy, he's way too quick. When you got him when we were playing random, you destroyed me. When I got him when we were playing random, like, I destroyed... Like, that character gives anyone an advantage. Like, a huge Super advantage. fucking advantage, and that needs... Just, in our fighting game championships, we will not have fucking Nemesis be allowed. Right, and I... Either we're going to have limitations on Chris, or Chris is not going to be playing a, a playable character. Right, Chris Redfield. Right, like we have to have, oh, you can only use three rounds, no reload. If you accidentally reload, you are no longer allowed to shoot that gun. Right, and I do know some fighting tournaments, we, I, I want to be as simple as we can with the rules because, holy shit. Some of, like back when I played pro for Smash Brothers, it got a little ridiculous. Yeah, like if they reload and shoot, they get a warning. You know what I mean? Like, right. hey... Or we'll allow them one reload with, like, we'll warn them at the reload. Uh, those are your last three rounds. If you use them all, like, don't be shooting at the guy anymore. Maybe it's best not to even play as him. Just fucking, that's that's right. what I'm saying because it's so easy to fire that and to accidentally reload. Chris did it like three times. And he's like, "Oh, that's how you do that," and he had already reloaded and shot at me like several times. Right. Um. Yeah, so anyway, we're like the big fighting game championships for sure. Gundam vs. Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Injustice 2, Marvel vs. Capcom, Geeking Comics, 994 West Army Trail Road, sometime in November. Uh, welcome to all players. Just be known that employees of Pepper Scar and Gassy will be playing in it, so you can't be bitches if we win. Yes. Simple as that. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, <laughs> Oh, and you, uh, we got. We're gonna have to make a lot of rules and stipulations because we don't want people being cornered. You know, you got to give people a chance to fight. Right. You know what I mean? You can't just um, like obliterate them in like one giant combo and be done. Right. And anyway, uh, we're moving on from that. Uh, Super Mario sixty four online, where you could literally play with like thirty two players online, has been taken down by Nintendo. We called that that was gonna happen, but it was fun. I did try it once. On the computer, but it's, it's shitty playing a fucking. Um, it's shitty that there's not a hand to hold the sword. I know. It's sh <laughs> it's sh uh, shitty that we couldn't have it on an actual console. But then again, it's not an official licensed version of the game, so rest in peace. Uh, really good news. I'm so glad they finally announced it. It won't be being streamed in our gassy Halloween month like Outlast and fucking a bunch of other stuff. The not a hero. Chris Redfield DLC for Resident Evil Seven is going to be free for people who already bought the game, and it comes out twelve twelve two thousand seventeen. Snakey, snakey, Capcom. Probably they went. Oh no, you're not going to get it. Ho ho ho! But they don't know. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, so but we did get it, so it is going to happen. You and, know, uh, Capcom always like destroys me in some way, and that <laughs> brings it back around. I hey, at least they had nothing to do with Mighty Number no. Nine. Oh, like, right? <laughs> can you just can you just bring us some Mega Man just to, like, crush those noobs? Because Mega Man was amazing. Other than that, I mean, we'll talk more about uh, Marvel vs. Capcom next week. We're just touching base on it here. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's... Do we have any more gaming news? Um, Who are you playing earlier? Spelunkers? Spelunkers World. I just... Uh, that was a game I downloaded a long time ago. It was just a little game where you can run around and... Collect items and shit. Oh, sweet. You explore caves and whatnot. Spelunking. It reminded me of Batman. Like Batman, uh, The Dark Knight. Like, it's for spelunking. He needs the armor. <laughs> Batman Begins. Whatever fucking movie it was. But yeah, we're, uh, we're going to move on to the uh, animated section. Anime. Animated. Assholes? Possibly. Oh, I think it's everything like that. And all rolled up into one fat fucking blunt. That's we're in the animated section, bitches. We are getting a motherfucking Teen Titans Go theatrical film in 2018, and I'm a giant fan of Teen Titans Go. Of Teen Titans Go now, so I'm I'm pretty fucking pumped for it. At the I, beginning, we weren't, but like, yeah. I, I, that's so fucking funny, and like, I love it now, so I'm cool with it. Well, you said the jokes changed, like in this previous season. No, like the the jokes started changing in season two, like when they started becoming meta and like making fun of themselves. It got more adult and better, like from the end of season two on. It's in season like seven now. All right, I'll it's have to, so fucking I'll have to good, take a look man. at season two and on because I know you don't have to watch season one. It's not. Story. It's not. There's, there's not stories. Uh, and the night begins to shine. There's a little preview of that of like Cyborg's song in one episode, and then the actual episode twenty ten twenty 
or whatever the fuck it was, 60, whatever the fuck, it's percentage episode, when the night begins to shine is awesome, and then they have a four power, four powder, four parter, absolutely fucking awesome. Yeah, so it's now it's, cool. it's, it's really good. I very much enjoy it. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. There's going to be an anime mm -hmm. of Pennywise. Yes. I mean, we're getting fucking Blade Runner and Pennywise animes now. You know we're going to sit down and watch that shit together. We can see a preview of what's to come. There's a short animated uh, Blade Runner film out now that I think you can just watch on their website for free. Or on their, like, YouTube for free. It looks fucking awesome. I only saw a trailer. I didn't watch it yet. Well, what about Pennywise? I want to see that. Pennywise, no, I just saw uh, an artist, like, rendition of it of what's coming. It looks pretty fucking badass. And we already Does know from the terrifying? supernatural, yeah, from the supernatural anime, and in anime in general, we can get some pretty terrifying creatures. So I'm very looking, oh, yeah. very much looking forward to it. Um, <laughs> we got our first look at Godzilla and Godzilla 2. He's animated, so I considered it anime. He looks the same. <laughs> it's from the same Godzilla. It looks a little bit more real because graphics always improve every year. So Not looking course. forward to it. Uh, um, new Rick and Morty, uh, the ABCs of Beth. Pretty fucking dark. This guy is about to, like, be executed for killing his kid, who was Beth's friend when she was little, but in, like, reality, he got stuck in the magical world Rick made for Beth to keep, so we think, her safe. He got stuck in there, but actually he made it to keep other people safe from Beth, because, just like him, she's evil and super smart and everything. And, um, Tommy gets stuck in the world and starts fucking the imaginary, or, like, the creatures... But then it bred life into it, so there's this running thing of Tommy's like, oh, it's dinner time! So he fucks one of his children's slash monster creations, a baby comes out, and then they kill it and eat it for dinner. It was really, like, super Rick and Morty fucked up. And then we find out in the end, uh, Rick gives Beth the choice to either stay with her family, or he can just make a clone of her. She can go away, never come back, or when she returns, he can easily kill the clone and have her come back in. And it was very deep and dark. That's all I'm... Like, you've got to watch it. And then we get the season finale tomorrow night. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, oh my God. Uh, and Dan Harmon even said, you know, season four, we're, they're going to go back up to 12, 14 episodes. Like, yeah, and you were saying how you were so disappointed in last week's episode. I rewatched it a couple more times, and it felt a little bit better to me. But the first time, I think it was because my kids were, like, crying and stuff. So mm. it was just kind of like... I was getting glimpses of it, so I was like, oh, that was kind of fucking shitty. No, like, rewatching it, it was it was a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. Okay. So I was, it's all right. A big wreck! <laughs> New Dragon Ball Super English. Goku gets poisoned by Frost's fucking little hidden thing, or whatever the fuck. Oh, uh, fucking course. And then Piccolo goes to fight and everything, and then Vegeta, he's ousted as being an actual bad guy, and Vegeta's like, I'll fight him! I'm going to fight this bitch! And I'm going to knock him out of the ring! And that's how it ends. But uh, Dragon Ball Super Japanese. Um, We're getting so close to that Jaren fight now. Oh, yes. Uh, in October. It's coming in October. October 6th. Uh, is um, that the one they're making a movie about? Yeah, it's, it's, it's two episodes put together. It's like an hour long. Movie. Right, but are they making... Because they, they said they're going to make one final movie. That's not the movie. Okay, okay. Um, so the newest episode of Japanese. Uh, finally, we get Frieza and Frost talking again. Because Frieza's been absent a couple episodes now. And it, during the fight, uh, Frieza, you know, Frost is applauding Frieza, and they like each other, you think. And then, saw it coming, but you kind of didn't see it coming, but you saw it coming. Uh, Frieza just eliminates Frost from the tournament. And Gohan is in his classic Gohan bitchy phase again after kicking so much ass. He's getting his ass whooped, and he's like, I don't know if I'm strong enough. I don't know if I can fight. Fucking fan And that's pretty much it. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so they're making him to be a bitch again? Yeah, that's what it looked like. It's him doubting himself again. So, yay. Oh, well, you know what? He doubted himself right before the Cell games. He did, and then he doubted himself when Goku's like, I tap, uh, Gohan's taking over for me, and Cell's like, what? <laughs> what? Like, Goku. He's just a fuck. Like, it's the best. You gotta watch the Dragon Ball Z abridged episodes, because it's just <laughs> best. He's like, Yamcha was on the list, not Gohan, and then Yamcha. And then Krillin's like, Yamcha was on the list, and he's like, yes! Halftime entertainment. And then fucking... <laughs> and I'm just like, hey, I'm just glad to be included. It's so no. fucking great, so... I, I saw that through Facebook, it was great. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Venture Brothers is coming back late 2018. Um, 
it had its run, it stopped a little bit, and then every once in a while they bring it back, and I'm a fan. Um, I'm a fan sometimes, but it gets a little too intense sometimes. Yeah. Like, like it, it steps boundary lines. Like a person lines. stuck in a world fucking a monster to have its baby just to eat it, so he's like a cannibal, incest cannibal eating monster like Rick and Morty. It, it gets a little fucking like, crazy, yeah, they have clones in that show too. Right, but it's just... It's a little, like, too fucked up sometimes. You right. know, it steps over those boundaries that Rick and Morty kind of walk a fine line over. And, uh, but yeah, do you have any more animated before we move on to Tommy's unboxing? Uh, nah. I hear a little nah, humming. It's, it's a weird humming, but it's okay. We're going to reconnect everything. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to yeah. have this go under so there's more room up here. But anyway, yeah, so let's oh, go. Well, I thought we were going to, like, revamp this thing. Yeah, eventually. But anyway, we're going to get uh, Tommy going here and uh, past me. We're going to get to part two of those Batman uh, Arkham figures right before superhero section. So take it away, bitch. It's unboxing with Tommy! <laughs> Welcome back to Unboxing with Tommy. We got part two of the DC Multiverse figures. We did Arkham Origins, blah, 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 blah. Let's get into part two, which I think is Arkham City. All right, part two of my uh, DC Batman Multiverse uh, Arkham figures. Now we're going to open all my figures from the Arkham City game. Uh, I don't have any from Arkham Asylum. I'm not sure if they made them for Arkham Asylum, but I had I opened the Arkham Origin ones last week. Now we're going to City, and then we'll open, my kids spread them around, but yeah, we'll open the Arkham Knight ones next week for part three. Okay, so we got Catwoman, Armored Batsuit Batman, all from Arkham City. Nightwing and Killer Croc. Killer Croc's one of the bigger figures. Uh, Mr. Freeze, Hush, uh, Azrael, and uh, <coughs> and uh, Batman Beyond version of uh, the Bat Suit. And um, let's open them up and take a look at them. And I do know there's other figures because here there's uh, black and gray Batman with Solomon Grundy. And uh, blue and yellow Batman with Clayface. And this is just for, um... <laughs> this is just for, like, alternate skin suits from the game for Batman. So let's open these motherfuckers up. Alright, so we didn't read the bios like we did for Arkham Origins, because there was just only three figures. There's a shit ton here. So again, we already have the uh, detective mode, detective vision Batman. We have the highly armored Batman. Um, and it has the shock gloves. We have the Nightwing Killer Croc 2-pack, and he comes with his um, staffs and everything. We have uh, Selina Kyle with this giant whip thing that barely fits in her hand, and the only figure so far that has a stand. Mr. Freeze. Uh, he has his backpack thing you hook in, and then he has the gun. Hush, which is the... He looks like Bruce Wayne or whatever. Uh, you can put his gun in his holsters. That's really awesome. Um, Ezreal which is badass. The sheath and the sword come out of there. And then we got our Batman Beyond. Uh, the figure box said it's Bruce Wayne. And it could very well be Bruce Wayne. Like, if it's the game, you're just changing the skin. But for other purposes, Terry McGinnis, my favorite version of Batman. And that's been part two. Part three will conclude with, uh, next week with fucking the, uh, Arkham Knight ones, and then in the future, part four will just be random figures we find. So let's back to you, puppet fuck. Back to you, fat fuck. Hi, I'm Robocop Batman, and you're listening to the superhero section. Who has a feather in my ass? Stop that. And we're in the superhero section after a nice unboxing. Fuck yourself, Tommy. And let's go into it, guys and girls. And it's Superman Extended Cut is coming to Blu-ray, the original film. Very much looking forward to that, because there's all these myths of all these deleted scenes and shit we've never seen. Putting it in. I'm very much looking so forward to it. So we're going to sit down and watch that shit? Yes. Because I don't give a fuck what you say. Not you, Christopher but Reeves. I love man. Christopher Reeve. I don't like Su Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, but I like 1 and 2 oh, for sure. Okay, there's, there's a difference between the actor being a, like, a piece of shit and the director being a piece of shit. Now as a director being a piece of shit. What's the oh, difference man. between Christopher Reeves and Christopher Walken? <laughs> it's actually very tragic one's dead. <laughs> one knew how to ride a horse. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. You know, I haven't even said anything, and I think this is fucked up. Like, Jesus Christ. Kermit, why don't you go for a horseback ride? You dirty bastard. Anyway. <laughs> um. <laughs> Fox is already looking to reboot Wolverine. I, we knew it was going to happen, but it's a little soon. Because for fuck's sake, they're trying to push fucking Oscars for Logan. You, you just write it out a little bit longer, guys. Calm the fuck down. Uh, they're already planning on doing an X-23 movie. That, that's that's another thing I'm going to get to in the entertainment section is uh, Teen Wolf. I'm just going to mention that right <laughs> now because fucking the, the series finale ended. and that's, Oh, yeah. We'll save that shit yeah. for sure. But anyway, a new Punisher trailer is out from Netflix. There's a badass song in it. Fucking amazing. Uh, my, by far. I mean, I love Thomas Jane in the movie, but fucking uh, Dude from Walking Dead is my fucking absolute favorite Punisher. For sure. Yeah. God, his name. I, o- I only Dead. saw the trailer, and I was like, holy shit, I fell in love with the character already. Uh, the CW Riverdale... Uh, car crash incident. I bring it up only. It does relate to superheroes in the way of Smallville actors. Um, a bunch of kids from the show Riverdale were working the late hours of most CW shows, and they got into a car accident. And previously, the cast from Smallville, uh, you know, they spoke out on it how it was back-to-back filming hours of 16 hours. Uh, it, it gets rough, and um, because of Smallville, all shows like Supernatural, Riverdale, everything on CW. Uh, most of the actors have drivers now. Yeah. It's part of the contracts now, so that they can safely drive home. So shout out to uh, Tom Welling, Michael Rosenbaum, and the guy who played uh, Paul Kent, because they're the ones who are like, people need drivers because this is dangerous. We don't mind working, we get paid well, but this needs to happen so we don't die. And then, No one wanted a Paul yeah. Walker back before Paul Walker, Paul Walker. Oh, God. Anyway... Can you say Paul Walker again, please? God damn. Paul Walker. <laughs> Walking Paul with the Wayne the Rock Johnson. Walking do I like Paul. Have you seen that Facebook post? No. It was uh, uh, Fast and Furious. I love Paul Walker, by Fast the way. Fast and this Furious 70. Uh, everybody was going to have wheelchairs, but Paul Walker was going to be in a walker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Rest in peace, Paul Walker. For real. Yes. Anyway, um, Kingsman 2. Review. <sighs> it was good. Uh, it was am- amnesia that brought back Harry. Uh, there's a pretty weird sex scene that's getting everybody in a rage where he's like his hand going in the pussy. That's what the designers do. You'll see. Yeah. And uh, Elton John had like the best fucking celebrity cameo ever. Um, but you could pretty much see what's happening. And they're planning to make a third one. Uh, starring The Rock, actually, as being the villain. Uh, Statesman's pretty funny. They're all named after alcohol. So there's whiskey, there was tequila, and everything. Right. So it, it was cool. Um, and there's even talks of a Statesman spinoff. But, yeah, that, that's about it for Hero. Because we, we got some stuff to talk about. And, uh, oh, yeah. A lot of stuff. A lot of death to talk, about. to talk about in the beginning, too. Let's go to the entertainment section. Why am I hard? Can you say Paul Walker again? Ah, yes. Welcome to the entertainment section. They brought me to the final section in there. Great. Fuck you guys. Enjoy the entertainment, assholes. Welcome to the entertainment section. You mean it's the obituary section. Yeah. Uh, Jake LaMotta has passed away. And this might as well be a death. They're rebooting Sabrina the Teenage Witch on the CW as a dark show instead of a comedy. Um, as long as they sprinkle in a little bit of comedy, I'm okay with it. They're going hard, like, well, just like new, like American Horror Story and next season, next, this well, next season of what? Walking Dead. I've always wondered what the show would be like if it was a darker tone, like, if this was real, like, she could not let anybody know for fear of death, yeah. and then her boyfriend comes and bees with her and all that Beats kind of stuff. That's fucking, that I is I said dark. bees with her. Oh, yes, that, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so uh, if you noticed uh, this season of American Horror Story and even The Walking Dead's including it, you can say fuck on TV now, like, as many times as you want, as long as it's, like, after 9, I, I think it, well, that's the rule. But, so as long as it's not during prime time. Right, because they say fuck, like, every other word in the past couple episodes of American Horror Story. Because the newest episode of American Horror Story was a little bit more backstory on fucking Evan Peters' character and uh, the gay husband character who's married to a woman even though he doesn't like women. 
and it's it's about him recruit and even the news reporter recruiting all these people into his cult and taking over this Isn't town. Isn't this the last season? No. Oh. Okay. No. And uh, there's like a weird masturbation scene where this one guy, because the one guy's gay, makes him clean up jizz from the, sh- the steam room at this where the, where the gay husband works, and then like it cuts. And he's, like, cleaning it up, and he goes to leave, and he sees Evan Peters in the shower, and he's jerking. And he's like, ah! And he's like, don't worry, I'll clean it up myself. Oh, it's, it's out there. It's like any other season. It's out there. But yeah, they can say fuck every other word. I'm, I'm looking forward to Walking Dead being able to say fuck now, for sure. Because yeah, actually... Megan's speech, I mean, they have an uncensored version of it on the, the Blu-ray and shit, but the fuck, you need, you need some fuck in. Uh, American Horror Story actually brings me to a great segue, because I heard uh, Colton Hayes... The guy that played Roy in uh, um, The Arrow and yeah. uh, yep. Jackson in Teen Wolf. Uh, Teen Wolf series finale played. Um, I'm a little disappointed in how they ended it off. Because they ended it off like the story should have just kept going. Ah, so they left it ambiguous for viewers. It's super ambiguous. Okay, so... Um, season six, um, there's this monster that create like, makes everybody afraid. Like, that's its biggest weapon is it terrifies everybody. And there's two halves of it, and they're trying to make sure that it doesn't find itself, like, the other half. So, then it does find the other half, then they find out that it's so powerful with one stare, it could, uh, turn you into stone. So, uh, the last episode... Like, they were about to fight this thing. So then you see Scott waking up in his bed, and you're like, what the fuck? I thought they were just about to, like, murderize this thing. And then you see uh, his ex-girlfriend's dad sitting next to him, who was uh, the hunter in the first season that was trying to kill him. And uh, he, they're driving somewhere, and, and they're talking, and then they go pick up this uh, other kid who happens to be find out that he got bit and he's a werewolf. So they added in a new character into the show right before ending it. So that's... Teen Wolf, the next generation. That That's... I was thinking Adult Wolf, but that, that's... Adult not, Wolf? <laughs> adult Wolf. But, uh... That's, Teen Wolf too. That's the first problem I have with it because why are you going to add another fucking character and then... That's so Okay, stupid. we're done. So then he's like, okay, so they pick up this kid and the kid, they're talking about stories and the kid goes, how does your story end? So that's when they start going into the actual episode of how they beat that thing. When, and then, uh... Oh, it was a flashback episode. Yeah, it was like a flashback episode for their final episode, which was really fucked up. So they go through all of how they, uh, like, got rid of everybody and everything, and then how they killed the creature, which was they trapped it in, in like, uh, it's called Mountain Ash, which uh, uh, stops supernatural entities from crossing, like, boundary lines and stuff. So, anyway... So, so, so salt? <laughs> supernatural salt? Rock yeah, salt. The, basically rock salt. But anyway, so then they, they get rid of this thing, and one of the hunters escapes, and then it cuts back to... Like, him getting, like, out of the story, pretty much like, oh, okay, that's how we beat the, the creature. I'm like, all right, well, I don't have a problem with that part of the, the show. That was right. really good. Then they continue on, like, to bring him over to the rest of um, the main character's pack and be like, okay, yeah, now you've got this other enemy. The girl that ran away made... Uh, she recruited a bunch more hunters, and they are like out to kill all of us. Okay. So. So they tried making a good ending, but then there was just like. Like they left it on like okay, we can make another season or two, maybe like seven out of this. Okay. Like they left it off on a huge cliffhanger, and then the then Colton Hayes coming back had no point in the show at all. Literally, he he you see him. He gets captured. He's gone for an entire episode, and they go, where'd he go? Literally, they're like, where's Jackson? Where's ja-? That's the big question. Where's Jackson? And then the second to last episode, uh, he's uh, the second to last episode, they find out that he's captured, and then you don't see him again. Like, it's just so fucked up and stupid. Yeah, that doesn't sound very fun. Yeah, I hope they make an actual spinoff like they've been talking about. 
Um, we got new photos from The Last Jedi, but I refuse to look at them. I refuse to be spoiled. Uh, confirmation, Darth Vader will be in the Han Solo film, but when is too much Darth Vader too much? That's my question. That's a, uh, we'll, 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 we'll definitely pick up more on that next week. Um, yeah, they, they make everything about Vader now. Right. Linda Hamilton is returning for Terminator 6, and originally he stated that it will ignore Genesis, but actually this Terminator film will actually be the true third film. It's going to ignore Terminator 3, Salvation, and Genesis. You can watch Terminator 1, 2, and 3. And you can always watch the other ones, but as a different timeline, if you will. But this is just, they're saying fuck it, because it's actually James Cameron, and that's what he's doing. So that I'm actually looking forward to in that's that great. respect. Uh, Cult, of Ch 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 yeah. Cult of Chucky comes out in October, uh, but it, it, it leaked, and uh, the fire stick Kindle. Um, I watched it. I will buy it, because it's that fucking good. Oh, yeah? Uh, I don't, you technically, legally, aren't supposed to be able to like, spoil something that's not out. So all I say is, is there you go. Um, Ooh. You can't really oh, hear what I'm saying, shit. and it's fucking badass. That's beautiful. Uh, Andy's in it, from like the original actor who played yeah. him too. Uh, so that happens, and it totally sets up for more films. That's all I can oh, say. Oh, that's beautiful. Any, any Chucky movie gets set up for another film. But uh, look forward to watching that. Watch it on Netflix. Buy it. I will definitely do that. Um, we got the Tomb Raider trailer. Totally looks like they're coming from the reboot games, which I'm fine with. Yeah. And she looks okay as Tomb, as Tomb Raider. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. We got the new uh, Maze Runner, the Death Cure trailer. Oh it's my god! It's good to that see him beautiful. back up and running again. So well, that was another thing I wanted to review uh, American Assassin, but I guess I can get to that. Yeah, we'll just yeah, we'll. we'll uh, and there's also another thing called American Vandal on Netflix, where it's like a fake mockument, like documentary thing about a guy who draws dicks everywhere and he gets framed. That's fucking That's hilarious. Funny. Well, yeah, we'll definitely talk more about that. Um, it Chapter Two is confirmed to come out October sixth, two thousand nineteen. So it's been greenlit. I thought it was on. September. No, October sixth, two thousand nineteen. Okay. Um, and, uh, is it? I don't know. Originally, it was supposed to be September something next year, because they wanted to add these kids before they have the growth spurts and flashbacks. That's another thing I want to talk about, too, uh, next week. Um, they're going to have big growth spurts within two years, so hopefully they film their shit soon. Oh, their, their shit's probably already, already filmed. Yeah, already, hopefully. And, um... If they're smart. And uh, if you give blood, my final thing, and fuck you, Kermit. I haven't even said anything. Well, fuck you, Kermit, anyway. Final thing, man. Uh, well, for me. Uh, fuck it. Oh, God damn it. Jeepers Creepers 3. I watched that, too. Um, takes place between the first film and the second film, with the opening taking place before every film, and the closing taking place after the third film, uh, after the second film, but not before the second film's epilogue, which is fucking 2024. So confusing, but a good movie, even though the director is a pedophile piece of shit. And we looked that up. Victor Salva on the internet. He's a, It's garbage. I don't... I love Dreepers Creeper, sadly. And I didn't know about his fucking bullshit before I saw it, but I, I don't want to get into it. Just watch the movie and get on with your life. Uh, don't support him in any other way. But the, the best thing I want to talk about is if you give blood, you can get a free ticket to see Saw 8, Saw Legacy. <coughs> give your blood, you get a ticket. Are you sick? No, no. Uh, I keep hitting the vape room. Oh, Especially man. because I can't breathe in. Because yeah, it's just not a good one. No. But yeah, that, there'll be more. And definitely make sure you come check out us in Formula 350 and everything tomorrow at Madison Mighty Con. And I, you got to put it in to get it put out. This is Randy Lee Beasley. And Luigi Bonanno. Stay classy and go fuck yourself. No, but seriously though, stay classy, because we don't need people like Victor Salva on the streets. Seriously, fuck yourself, because that's just tough. Smell like roses. Take it away, Darren. No. Yes. You've been listening to uh, uh, Gassy Radio. Uh.